All right, this video is going to be on basic modeling in 3ds Max 2014. It's part of super basic 3ds Max tutorial series, I guess here. All right, so we're gonna do just super simple how to manipulate an object, uh, vertices, and uh, how to do, basically the three things we're gonna cover that are main are, um, we're gonna do an extrusion, we're gonna do a inset, and we're gonna do a chamfer. I think those are good for good first three tricks to know. So we're going to start out by doing a cylinder. Um, all right, so gra uh, drag anywhere on your grid and pull up, and you'll get a cylinder, which has a default of five height segments. You can change that to whatever you want. Um, and 18 sides, I think, is the default as well. So in order to actually touch anything here, to actually move any individual faces or vertices, we need to add a edit poly modifier. So go to modifier tab, go to the modifier drop down, and click on editable edit poly right there. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can access the vertices, the edges, and the faces, things like that. So we'll start by extruding a face. So click on your polygons, click on your po polygon selection button, and press on whatever face you want to extrude. So selected this face and then I'll scroll slightly down to the extrusion button. So all of these have a little settings tab which you can be a little bit more exact with what you're doing but let's say you're just modeling organically. So press the extrude button down and then just hover over and you will get a extrude little extrude icon and you can just intuitively put it wherever you want. And so that's how to do it that way. The other way would be settings and extruding based off of some type of increment. So I'll just say 10 inches. And there you go. So that's a 10 inch extrusion. And don't forget to unclick the button because otherwise you're gonna be extruding, accidentally extruding whatever you click on next. All right, so now that we've done extrusion, let's do an inset really quickly. So inset is kind of, for a four sided object, it's kind of like turn it into a picture frame. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. So clicking on inset, hovering over your selected face, and you can just inset it whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you want to do. Or you can, control Z, go back to the settings, and once again, you can, let's just do two inches. You can do an increment here. There you go, two inches. You can also, um, I believe you can in, inset multiple la multiple levels, or whatever. Um, so now let's do some chamfering of edges. So this is, you know how we have this really ugly line here. If you're trying to render that, that's going to be sharp and extremely unrealistic. So unselect inset, go to your edges. And normally we'd be able to just select the edge loop here by double clicking. But because of the way that this is programmed, I guess you can't. So what we're going to do is just grab it all. Grab the whole top section, Alt, hold down Alt, and drag over your bottom. So you just get this top ring here. All right, now that you've done that, you can scroll down to the chamfer button. And once again, you have the situation where you can just sort of organically chamfer whatever feels good to you. Or you can press the settings button and chamfer. This gives you more, not just the, the segment that you want, the increment you want, but also how many segments you want. So you can do <laughs> really infinity segments, which will round out your corner a lot. But let's just say, let's just say we really just want one segment for now. One segment of one inch. There you go. So now, you know, this will help with modeling like machine type parts, and just so you can render out a nicer looking edge on things it helps a lot. And so that'll be it for this video. In the next video, we'll cover a little bit more of these modeling techniques. And thank you for watching.